Hello, fellow drinkers. Today, I have another round of the best Oktoberfest beer fight, and we are in the Elite Eight right now, so we will see who can move on to the finals. To let you know, I am doing this blind. I do not know which beers these are. I will put them up here for you guys. I'm having somebody else pour them for me, so I don't know what they are. These are mostly Wisconsin beers, mainly because I got them from my Total Wine, because they do curbside pickup, and we are in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> so, um, if you want to see the uh, rest of the videos in the series, they will be up in this corner. And this is totally subjective. Basically, it's what I'm feeling tonight. And I had uh, beef curry for dinner, so all bets are off probably still a little bit lingering, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see which one I like best. That one will move on to the next round. Okay, so I have A here on the left and B here on the right, and as you can see, color-wise, they're pretty much the same. Not really much difference. Uh, a has a little bit more head than B, but for the most part, they're the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in for a smell and taste on A, smell and taste on B and then I'll probably go back to A because the flavors kind of change and kind of go back and forth and then I'll make my decision. This round has been a lot harder than the first round. <laughs> I have been having a lot harder time with the beer so hopefully we can we can make it through and pick the best one. Okay, so A is super malty. Uh, mostly picking up just the, the malts. Let's go in for a taste on A. Hmm. Hmm. It's a nice sweet, kind of have a roasty malt at the end. It's got a little bit of hops in between too, which is nice. Okay, let's go in for a smell and a taste on B here. Oh, wow. That nose is really nice. I'm picking up a sweet almost like caramel or like apple like a caramel apple yeah that i don't remember any of them in the first round having that i'm definitely getting like apple cider like um or caramel apple smell off the nose that's interesting okay well we're gonna go in for a taste now on super sweet. It's like coyingly sweet, especially after the first one. Second sip, I'm getting more malty. Mm. It's nice and dark. Malt. Mm. Almost getting the apple on the taste. I mean, it's not, it doesn't taste like apple cider, but I had a hint of like apple there. It's kind of interesting. I mean, smell affects the taste. I was totally pulling apple off the smell. So, I don't know. Let's go in for one more taste. I don't know. I, I think this one's a little flatter too, and that could be hindering its, my ability to taste all the notes in it. I'm gonna do some AB comparison, and then I will make a winner. After B, the hops are really coming out in A. Um, I mean, it's still malty and delicious. There's more hops in it after B. I just got some more hops off of B. I don't know if that's carryover from A. So I'm going to drink a couple more drinks of B and see. Maybe I'm just picking it up better now that I'm used to the sweet. Tasting a little bit more hops on that one as well. Still not. A is more hoppy and B is more sweet. Um, malty. I think I am going to go with B. The more I drink it, the more the sweetness mellows out and I get some of the hops and it's more of a roasted malt. And I think that's what I like more about it. And A is definitely more hoppy than B. And as I've said in previous videos, I'm more for the malty than the hoppy. And so I'm going to go with B. Let's go find out which one's which. We have our winner, which is B, Essential Waters. And um, A, as you guys know, was the Potosi. So Central Waters will move on to the next round. 
and we're, we're getting down. We've only got a little bit left to go before we have the final best Oktoberfest. These are getting harder and harder as we go, which I knew they were. I mean, I'm crafting them to my taste. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you guys on the next Oktoberfest. Cheers.